hello there lovely people how are you i hope all is well and everything is fine on your end welcome back on my channel you're listening to light channelings once again and today i'm back with a new very very positive uplifting beautiful and amazing card reading for all of you which starts with an appearance of number 77 and it's all about miracles dreams coming true wishes getting fulfilled abundance getting poured out on your head directly from the universe and the flow of positive energy impossible turning into possible as well before starting with today's reading i'd first like to express how grateful I am towards all of those people who are supporting the spiritual work we are doing here and are also contributing in the form of their generous donations. I saw triple one, eleven, and ten, ten right when I said that. So you must remain assured that universe is going to bless you times tenfold of what you're sharing with me and others. And the more you spread love, light, healing and happiness all around you, the more you will receive it back and all the obstacles, blockages and challenges are going to be lifted up and removed from your path for your highest good. Just know and remember that universe is going to bless you with the abundance, love and happiness times tenfold of what you're sharing with me and others. So keep up the good work and hope for the best. Now we'll start right away with today's card reading. Before that, I'd have to make a quick change in the settings. Just one second. So we're done with that. And now we'll dive right back into the reading and I saw number 11 right when I said that. So this reading is really very beautiful and it's already gotten confirmed by the appearance of so many blessed angel numbers. You can look for their meanings on Google or any other sites you trust. The very first message here is that your counterpart is getting ready to reach out to you to show up at your doorstep or give you a call text or a message call you out on a date or create some sort of a plan to get you out of the house so that they can have a meet up with you possibly in a sneaky way you might not know this that where you're going you're about to or going to meet your counterpart they are planning or making a setup with their friends possibly the mutual ones both of you know to make these arrangements so just have all your ears open if you hear something like that or if um, or if a mutual friend rings up to you for anything there is a possibility that it's a setup done by your counterpart and them to arrange a meetup but it's very beautiful and it's cute so you do not have to worry about that but at the same time I see that union is very very close for a lot of you out there and it's going to happen in the very near future for a lot of the people who are listening to me right now or had been listening to me for for quite some time i see that the union is very very close actually and the healing you needed has already happened or the stars are aligning the date is very close or the time the divine timing actually for your union is very very close and you might just receive your 
union or possibly a mini union or reunion with your counterpart in the very near future it's a very blessed thing it's very wonderful and i see it's happening your counterpart is stalking you on social media or in other ways to see what you're doing whether you're open or not and they kind of feel like that you are shutting them out or you have your heart guarded from them which is a bit disturbing for them but it's not as disturbing as it was because they understand where you're coming from and why you are so guarded in front of them or towards them they know that it's not easy for you to trust them back because of what they've done to you or how they've treated you in the past or because of the fact that they broke your trust in the past by way of their neglectful actions choices and behaviors they do not wish to uh, they do not wish to i'm sorry i'm just getting blank actually that's why i'm taking pauses they do not wish to repeat the same old mistakes again and they are being very careful with their approach that's why they are stalking you or they could even be asking mutual friends or acquaintances of yours about your whereabouts and what you've been up to these days so it looks like that there was someone possibly a male friend who was not interested in helping them out but on the on top of that and instead of helping them out to mend things with you this individual was trying to create even more havoc in between both of you this individual didn't had best of intentions in regards to both of you especially you i do not see that there was a lot of liking or respect instead they had a good amount of dislike towards you and they projected it all out in front of your counterpart and they realized that this this is not a good person or um, this individual is not someone they should discuss about you or the connection they share with you and they shouldn't allow this individual to interfere or have any kind of power or authority to interfere in between you your connection or anything related with their personal life so they've shut that person out which is a very wonderful thing because i see that this individual this other friend this male friend had been trying to create a permanent separation or break up in between both of you intentionally deliberately out of envy possibly because every time they hear about you they were filled with envy and jealousy but they couldn't understand that or were not aware of that because of their ego and pride they wanted to prove some sort of point by defeating you to themselves that you deserve to be put down something like that i don't want to go into the depths of it we'll just uh, i'm again seeing number 77 so um yes you see this reading is this reading is really very blessed and positive and is coming up with so many confirmations straight from divine so listen to me till the end so we'll not go into details of what this person was doing because the good news is your counterpart has shut this person out or have walked away 
from them or possibly have kicked them out of their life which is a very wonderful thing but here i see a block on your end you are not open to receiving your counterpart right now you have your heart guarded for them and it's not easy for you to open up there is a possibility that if they reach out to you you might not reward back with a very wonderful or positive energy so you have to decide or check as to how you'd like to react reward back or reply nobody is forcing you to do anything if it doesn't feel good or positive or if your person comes around with a cocky attitude you do not have to entertain them at all okay but at the same time uh, they know where you're coming from or if they reach out and you do not react possibly or i'm sorry react positively or reply with a positive attitude or you do not welcome them with an open heart they are not going to take it to their heart because they know why would you act and behave in such a way towards them so this is your energy which is okay it's not bad cause we all understand where you're coming from including your counterpart you just want to remain focused on your work and you do not want to repeat the same old cycles with your counterpart that's why you're just going to act with caution and you're going to protect yourself until and unless you feel you feel safe around your counterpart or you finally uh, get that notion that it's okay now to open up or allow them back into your life that's what i'm thinking and feeling so there is this obstacle this blockage that you have to deal with now it's completely up to you as the angels are saying because the forgiveness is really needed in this situation not just for your counterpart but towards other but towards other individuals as well who are trying to block this connection like this mother figure again who's been popping up in these readings all of these people who had a say about okay let me put it this way all of these naysayers who are trying to give their narrow minded opinions about this connection and you are now having um bitter taste in their mouth because your counterpart isn't listening to them at all they've shut down all the gossip all the critical remarks these people have been passing on about you in front of them everyone was uh, giving their judgment about you and this connection they were commenting about you your personality persona thinking mentality background surname qualifications possibly or anything about you was not up to the mark according to them so they were trying to express that in front of your counterpart but your counterpart clearly understood that that's bullshit and they shouldn't be listening to anyone else except their own heart and intuition so now they are listening to their intuition now they are paying attention to the signs and synchronicities keep in mind this reading is not for everyone okay a lot of you may be going through different cycles or situations so not everything is going to resonate 100% use your own discernment and intuition while interpreting these general collective messages for yourself okay 
so you're about to receive some sort of good news in regards in regards to this connection it's going to be a really wonderful news and it's going to feel like wish fulfillment wishes coming true or a prayer getting answered that you've been hoping and yearning and crying to get answered in front of god so if this is what you wanted you're about to get it and that's when they say be careful what you wish for because you might just get it so your wishes are about to come true the only thing i see here is that you are the only person who can block this connect who can block this connection out right now but you don't have to worry that you're going to uh, completely miss out on all of the opportunities on this connection that's not going to happen but yes your decision your choices and how you deal with the situation and your counterpart is going to affect the ultimate outcome of this situation and this connection so that's on you as to how you'd like to tackle the situation you're smart enough and if you've reached hair and if you're here on this stage of this journey i hope and believe that you're smart enough intelligent and intellectual enough to make your own decisions and choices and you understand the dynamics of this journey and how this how this journey works so i don't think that you're going to make any kind of childish mistake handle them maturely and if you feel like something is not right and they are uh, trying to control the situation just defend yourself take a stand and maintain your boundaries that's all i'd like to say on the other hand i see as i was talking about this mother figure who had been popping up in these readings so here she is again this individual this mother figure tried to again block this connection out by bad mouthing about you indirectly it was not direct this time because she knows very well that her son isn't listening or her daughter isn't listening anymore to any to any of her she talking about you or nonsense or they are not going to pay any attention to the drama she keeps on creating in front of them to get their attention because your counterpart knows very well she doesn't like you that's why that's why she keeps coming up with the same old story line again and again mother figure tried to slow down the progression or the movement that was happening because your counterpart might have announced that they are about to make a move towards you or they are not going to take a no for an answer when it comes to you and the only person they choose and are going to spend the rest of their life with is the one who rules over their heart and that felt like a burn to the mother figure uh, i won't judge you if you're laughing listening to this statement because that's the truth i just don't understand what's the problem with these mother figures on one hand everyone says that mo- that mothers are uh, you know uniquely designed to love abundantly and then when i see such sort of mothers i just don't understand what's their problem are you made out of defective material something like that i don't know okay so we won't go into that it's very clear such sort of people doesn't even understand what being a mother means or what actually motherhood is you know it's all about conditioning and programming because everyone sp- 
I mean, I don't know how to describe this. Everyone mindlessly believes or has spread this belief that once you become a mother or once a woman becomes a mother, she just becomes perfect or I don't know. It's because of the way people think and believe about the label such sort of human beings think that they can do whatever they want to just because they've given birth to a child it's an it's a natural phenomenon biological phenomenon phenomena if i am pronouncing it wrong that's the problem with these people but the thing is that you are responsible for your own for your own choices and decisions we cannot do anything about that but the good news is things have started to turn in your favor and everything has started to work out in your favor and the and in the favor of this divine connection which is a very wonderful and beautiful thing to celebrate and feel good about i don't know uh, i feel today i feel like my voice has changed so this is what's happening here she did it again she tried to block this connection out once again and the, and the outcome was same she received the same old outcome nothing worked out in her favor instead slowly and eventually she is losing the love and the respect your counterpart always had for her and on the other hand i see if there was involvement of your counterpart's father they are now seeing the situation for what it is and if there was someone else in your counterpart's life or or if or if there was someone else that your counterpart was seeing or dating in the past or these people were trying to set someone else with your counterpart they can clearly see the difference in between you and that other person how beautiful generous kind pure charming you are and how sneaky deceptive cunning negative that other person was or is how disrespecting selfish mean clever that other person is or was they can clearly see the difference clearly very clearly i mean the father figure is or if it's not the father figure slowly and eventually your counterpart is realizing and understanding that they are now able to see everyone for who they are and what they were with them and why they were there in their life you never asked for anything you never demanded anything from them i mean everything that you ever always wanted from them was their time attention and love you didn't got that so you had to walk away from them it was fine you made the best choice for yourself but they can clearly see that and understand that why you had to make that choice and who forced you to make that choice and in what circumstances you had to made make i'm sorry that choice and who was the real culprit who is the real villain in this whole situation and their eyes have spotted one person it's their mother first of all or their sister who ganged up and teamed up 
with their mother to create or devise these plans to kick you out out of your counterparts life by trying to manipulate them fill in their ears with all sort of nonsense nonsense confusion and negativity against you so that they would feel paralyzed to make a decision or choice in regards to you they kept on adding fuel to the raging fire the fire which completely clouded your counterparts judgment and completely made them disabled actually to make any kind of solid move towards you give you justice or any sort of clarity instead it made them kick you out of their life or treat you as miserably or as bad poorly as possible your counterpart could clearly see when their mother or their sister came out once again with their nonsense about you against you about and against you they could clearly see why they are coming up with that the only intention that was getting reflected from the way they are talking they were talking acting or behaving and the expressions they had on their face was to slow down this progression and cause as much delay as much they can so that you would eventually give up and move away or move on from this connection or your counterpart or out of distress you would end up making some sort of hasty decision which is just completely going to end this connection for this life or would leave no room for any growth to happen in this connection at all they thought that in their mind and with that intent they proceeded once again and received the karma once again because they do not understand this connection is heavily divinely protected and guided right now these people are feeling extremely threatened by you and your power because they can see that no matter what they do it never works out in their favor and you do nothing you say nothing you do not even react in most of the situations these days a lot of you don't because you've heard these readings and you were taking or are taking heed of the guidance the divine guidance you're receiving which clearly states that you do not have to react to anything these people are saying doing or trying to do or say they are feeling very threatened and they know that this mother figure knows that she cannot stop her son or her daughter from coming back towards you or she cannot stop this marriage or union from happening everyone who's involved in the situation is thinking about your union with your counterpart and the happily ever after you're about to receive with them and that feels like something is crushing them down they feel defeated stuck paralyzed internally not physically in their mind actually that's what i mean so this is the energy which is currently playing itself out you have wonderful you have wonderful things to look up ahead on the horizon for you keep up the good work you're doing and keep on working on yourself your healing your soul purpose and soul mission and even on your goals ambitions and desires because the way you're working is actually bringing up these blessings into your life your person is about to take that action you are already 
you are already victorious in this whole situation people are about to see and witness your growth your success and your achievements very soon this teetering that is going on where your counterpart is struggling and moving back and forth with other, with other individuals those are karmics and towards you it's all going to end very very soon i see that very clearly and all of your dreams desires and wishes in regards to this connection and reunion are going to come true this is clearly stated in this reading the final judgment is going to come in your favor and no one can stop this marriage from happening this union or reunion from happening in divine right timing keep that in mind okay when the time comes you will receive your blessings perfectly so other than that universe has few more messages and they'd like to tell you that you need to trust the process and you'd have to practice a lot of gratitude you'd have to have a lot of patience if you do that and if you find the strength to forgive all of these people including your counterpart for what they've put you through and you remain positive you will recover from the situation and this heartbreak that you're in or feel at times and then you'll see abundance getting poured upon you and in your life so remain positive it's completely up to you if you'd focus your energy and attention on doing the work or instead focus on negatives of the situation that's completely up to you so this was the reading i hope you enjoyed listening to me if you did give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you if you so wish one second if you really wish that other than that if you'd like to contribute or show your love and appreciation for the work we are doing here you can simply follow through with the link given in the description box below that's all for now signing off thank you so much for listening and stopping by take care